My name is Tim Sutinen from privacyproshop.com. In this video, I'll show you how you can use multiple session messenger IDs with a Linux computer using the app image version of Session Desktop. The app image version of Session Desktop will work with any modern version of Linux. A cool thing about Session is that you can create as many session IDs as you want. What's less obvious is how you can use them, as the current version of Session Desktop doesn't include support for multiple IDs through the graphical user interface. There are plans to make a pro version of Session that will include multiple identity support, but it doesn't exist yet. First, fire up a web browser and head on over to getsession.org and click download, then click Linux under Download Session for Desktop. Once the download completes, create a folder named Session under the home directory and move the downloaded file there. You can get to the home directory by typing just CD and hitting enter. Then create the folder with MKDIR, move the downloaded file over to there using the MV command, then rename the file as it is really long, also by using the MV command, and finally make the file executable using the schmod plus x command. Then, to fire up the first identity, just type dot slash and the name of the file. Then put a space and type dash dash user data dir equals and then the name of the folder you want to use. Something like session user one. Then hit the enter key and go through the setup. Then open another tab in the terminal and start the second identity using something like session user 2 as the user data dir variable. Again, go through the setup. It's also a good idea to change the color scheme for one of the instances to make it easier to identify. To make sure everything is okay, send a message from one of the identities to the other or send a hi to me. My session username is Privacy Pro Shop. To quickly start the multiple identities again, open the terminal and tap the arrow key up to see a listing of previous commands. Or use the history command to list all of the commands you have typed and then start them by typing an exclamation point followed by the number provided by the history command. I'll have the necessary commands listed in the description below. If you want to get session usernames for all of your session identities, so you don't have to copy-paste 66 character hexadecimal session IDs, check out this short how-to video. That's all she wrote. If you're interested in session, Lokinet, and all things digital privacy, please take a look at some of the other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching, and have a happy day!